Hi. So today we are going to talk about uh, memory organization of microcontroller, uh, which is providing uh, different memories with your microcontroller. Like coming to your 8051 microcontroller families, which are providing two memories for you on chip. One is RAM memory and another one is ROM memory. And here RAM stands for random access memory. And ROM stores, ROM stands for read only memory. So these are the two different memories are available with your microcontroller. And whenever you are looking to access these memories as a programmer, you have to concentrate how much of memory they are providing for you. So with respect to RAM memory, they are providing for you, which is 128 bytes. And coming to ROM memory, they are providing for you, which is 4 kilobytes. So this is the standard microcontroller memory capabilities like towards RAM 128 bytes and towards ROM which is 4 kilobytes. Once they are providing sizes for you, what way you, you people will differentiate and what way you, will, you people will find out these addresses of memories. So for this, if it is a 128 bytes, then what is the decimal representation of your addresses which is 0 to 127. So this is the normal general decimal representation for your addresses of memories and you want to tell the same thing in hexadecimal format you have to convert these values to hexadecimal so obviously 0 means which is 00 zero h and 127 means so what way you people will convert your decimal value to hexadecimal so just you have to divide with 16 how many times which is 7 times uh, which is 112 and remainder is 15 that means so if as a 15, what way you can write in hexadecimal, which is F. So that is, this is the hexadecimal equivalent of your 127. So once I am writing the extinction character H, then what is the meaning of that? It is a hexadecimal value. Okay. So once they are providing the quantity of your RAM memory, which is 128 bytes, and how to find out the addresses of these memories. So this is the, always your address location starts with 0 and ending location is 127. And coming to hexadecimal representation, which is 00H to 7FH. And they are providing for you 4 kilobytes of ROM memory. Then what are the addresses for these ROM locations? So generally 1 kilobyte means how many bytes? Which is 1024 bytes. Okay, so 1K is equal to 1024 bytes. Then uh, what is the size of total 4K? 4K means 4 into 1024. This is 4096 bytes of ROM memory. And here coming to the address calculations. So once they are providing 4096 bytes for you, then what is the decimal representation? 0 to 4095. And what is your hexadecimal representation here? Just convert this 4095 to hexa. So just by dividing the 16. Then 16 to the 32, remainder is 8, 89, 16 points are 80, and remainder. Again 9, 95, again which is divided with 3, 5 times, remainder is 15, that means F. And again 6, 1, 0, and 15, F, 0, F. So this is the hexadecimal representation for your wrong locations. So once you want to tell in a cells format, so coming to this 128 bytes, so I can represent like this your memory cells. So which is 0 and ending address is 127 here and coming to RAM 0 to 127 which is 00H to 7FH. And what way you can write your ROM memory towards memory locations? So once you start with 0, what is the last location for your ROM? 0 to 4095, this is the decimal representation and coming to hexadecimal representation which is 000H to 0 FH. So this is the way you people have to know the addresses of both RAM memories and ROM memories. And what is the purpose of this RAM memory for you? Which is used for variables, whatever you are declaring in the program. That's what in C programming, you people have to most concentrate on data types. So why? Because once you are declaring a character variable in the program, so which is going to occupy the from your memory, which is going to occupy one memory cell. Because the size of your character data type, which is one byte, and you people are declaring integer variables. Then these variables will occupy each variable occupies two memory locations from the RAM. Okay, so suppose if you're declaring float 
variable in the program then which will occupy one variable which occupies four locations like this okay so that is the reason as a programmer first you have to think of data types clearly so whether based on your requirement only you have to understand which data type you have to take in the program okay so because in embedded systems memory concepts are very powerful and here you have to use the memory programming in better way based on the basic concepts in programming so that will starts from your data types so not only your predefined data types and here the additional concepts like uh, arrays structures pointers every concept which is related to memory only so how best you are using your memory he will become a good programmer in our uh, embedded domain <coughs> that is most important here and you have to concentrate on both memories why because so the ram which is for variables declaration and variables purpose and raw memory which is used for the complete program whatever you are developing your program in c language so the complete c program which will be stored with your raw memory okay so this this is the brief introduction about your two different memories from your microcontroller and coming to the the complete concept of your rom ram memory so which should be total 128 bytes right again these 128 bytes have so many sections inside so for that just check out here so this is the complete memory organization of a ram memory from your 8051 family so this is the total cells bank or memory cells of your ram memory and which is divided into so many slots which is bank 0 bank 1 bank 2 bank 3 bit addressable space scratch pad memory so these are the different sections with your ram memory in the microcontroller then so how you people will access these different sections with the help of programming so now if you are looking to access these memory locations with programming every bank has the registers list here like each bank have their own registers r0 to r7 like and each bank having eight locations of each like 00h to 07 and coming to bank 1 which is starts with 08 and ends with 0f and bank 2 starts with 10h and ends with 17h bank 3 starts with 18 and ends with 1f and bank bit addressable space which starts with 20h and ends with 2fh and the remaining 30 to 7fh which is the complete uh, remaining scratch pad memory so these are the various sections present with your ram memory and whenever you want to access this bank so that is depends on the register selection bits in our program set is word which is rs1 rs0 by programming this rs1 and rs0 bits you people can access different banks why because always the registers are the dummy names of your memory locations whenever you are using register in the program then indirectly which will occupy the ram memory location only even if you take accumulator even if you take b register every register again it will take the memory location from your ram only why because all the registers are the dummy names of your memory locations and whenever you are using r0 register in the program so that r0 register will occupy which bank location that is most important here so based on the programming of these two bits based on the programming of your rs1 and rs0 bits so which is going to decide whether the registers are utilizing the memory from which bank that is depends on the programming of rs1 or rs0 once you are making 0 0 these two bits so the registers will be utilize the bank 0 when these two bits are 0 1 the registers will occupy the memory locations from bank 1 once these two bits are 1 0 it will occupy the locations bank 2 and once it is 1 1 1 which occupies the memory locations from bank 3 so this is the most important thing about your general purpose registers which are taking the memory from which bank that is decided by the selection of rs1 and rs0 programming so that is here and what about this bit addressable space here so because as a programmer you people have to use the memory in a best way 
So why? Because for single bit also I don't want to waste the remaining locations from your device. So for that, whenever you are looking to store a single bit of data in your microcontroller data storage, then so you people can utilize this bit at this little space. So why? Because here one location again individually programmed for individual bits. So this bit, each bit have its own address. It is also starts with 00, 01, 02, H like this. So each bit here program and don't confuse here. So which is 00 H and which is also 00 H. So what way the microcontroller will differentiate whether the given value whether I want to store here or here. So that is depends on your source content value. So once your source content is a one byte value, then the microcontroller allows for this complete location. When your source content is a single bit value, then it occupies this single bit location. Okay, so that is most important here. Then I will show you with example like move 00 H comma C. So here C is a carry flag bit. So now I want to store this carry flag bit with your microcontroller in memory. So then if you use this instruction, the C status will come to here. Suppose if you people are writing this this instruction move 00 H comma has 12 H because it is a one byte value, this one byte value will store with your complete location because I cannot store 8 bit value in a single bit ok so that is the reason based on your source content value the microcontroller itself it allows the memory locations either byte wise or bit wise so that is the most important thing about your bit addressable locations once you people have a single bit storage you can utilize this memory with addresses so that is the importance of bit addressable memory and coming to the scratch pad memory so which is used for general access so you people can use any way and this 128 bytes of RAM memory again which is providing some stack memory also. So there is a stack memory with your microcontroller generally stack memory which is going to allow the operations in a sequential manner because general memory once you store some data in the memory you don't know where it will store in the hard disk like if you are storing one file in the hard disk of your microcomputer you don't know in which location it is stored exactly but once you store the same files in stack memory then you can easily identify the addresses so why because stack allows always the operations in a sequential manner by following two rules so one is LIFO and other one is PIFO so these are the two rules followed by your stack memory here LIFO stands for last in first out and FIFO stands for first in first out so these, these are the two different rules followed by your stack memories. So now your H05 only supporting this LIFO rule in the stack. And to make the operations with your stack memory, you have a particular instructions in the instruction set which is push and pop. The push instruction which is help us to move the content to stack memory and pop instruction which is used to get the content from your stack memory. So these are the two different instructions for allowing the value to stack and get the value from stack so like and this stack memory which has maintained by a stack pointer there is a sp with your programming here sp stands for stack pointer which will hold a default address 07h from your ram memory and that means your stack storage starts from 08 so that too, the stack story starts from 08. From here, you people have stack allows the operations. And by default, all the general purpose register purpose, they will use this band 0 only. Why? Because always this RS1 and RS0 register selection bits status will be 0. So that is the most important. And so this is the complete memory organization with your microcontroller RAM. So because we have totally 00 to 7F, that means 0 to 127. Okay, so this is about the complete memory organization, different blocks, and about stack, and about bitter decimal space, and about scratch pad memory. Thank you.